All right, coaches, this is Blair Hubbard, head football coach at Broomfield High School, and I just wanted to share with you guys um, some of the perimeter drills that we do. We are based out of a, a shotgun set, a lot of hybrid wing T principles, and the thing that we feature is a rocket sweep to the perimeter here. And if you're any sort of jet sweep, rocket sweep team, whether it's under center or in gun, uh, spread or you know tight slots, things like that, um, I think these drills will be helpful because they're helpful to us maximizing the, the reps that we need to get to prepare our, our players. So this is what we're doing right here. We're reaching flat and fast. We've got our tailback leading out. We're going full speed behind the quarterback, making a wide pitch right here. We're stock blocking on the edge right there. So this is how we set it up, or this is the play right here. You can see on the front side, our players are going to release what we call flat and fast to the edge right here. And we need to train that release in them. Our tailback's going to lead around. And then if we can't reach them, we've got to train our players what to do, use their momentum against them and push them to the sideline right here. So there's an example going away from us. The outside linebacker is going to cheat out. We can't reach them. So then we've got to drive them out. And then our back has to cut up and then back outside. And those are things that we need to drill into our players as we do this. And then another one right here, you know, very quickly to the sideline, our slot's going to reach. First man outside, our tailback's going to look for any trash coming through. And then our wide receiver is going to pin a player to the sideline if he's keeping contain, and then hopefully create a scene like that for us to the end zone. And this is the drill that we do. And this is something that we utilize in the summertime uh, through two a days, those types of things. So what we'll do is we'll actually set up two drills that will face each other. So we've got two offset uh, centers or players that are going to snap the ball back to our quarterbacks. There's our quarterback, quarterback, tailback, tailback, and we'll have one slot. We'll work this all one direction to begin with. And we'll set cones out here. These are landmarks for, number one, the ball carrier to go around, number two, the tailback to go around as he's lead blocking. And then we've got our players about five, 10 yards back in a line, you know, getting ready to go in the next play. So we go in motion here, full speed motion off the heels of our quarterback. And if you're a jet team, you can come underneath with your mesh point there, tailback leading out. We're going to make that pitch. And then what we're going to do with this is our tailback's then going to lead out right here, and we're going to take the ball outside these cones. And what we do is we usually have an older player group start off right here. We've got a younger player group right there. Usually have my quarterback do our cadence. It's a rhythmic cadence. So I tell our younger players, just, just mouth the words of the cadence. We'll have them go several reps, and then finally we'll have these younger guys that will – Kind of once they've got comfortable with the cadence, we'll have them, you know, call it out. But what we're doing with this is we are, our coaches are going to be in here. Our coaches are going to be back here. We're going to have coaches on the perimeter and just watching the players, coaching points. And we get a lot of reps very quickly with this. So we'll go for about five minutes, 10 minutes, just working kids through, and then we'll switch and we'll go the other direction. So the younger kids are seeing the older players do this. It's very condensed. Our coaches can coach a lot of players at one time. And basically what we're doing is we're going in a circle. So once this team here, this player here, he would run his sweep, get around the cone, turn up field, and then he would get in this line right here. And then we would just pass the ball up. But same thing for the tailback. He'd come around, reach around, and then he would get in line there. And then our quarterbacks would just exchange with each other from right here. So it's very efficient, very quick. And then again, after about five or 10 minutes, you know, depending on how long that segment is, then we'll switch and go the other direction with it. And then what we'll build on from that, or here's kind of the rotation. So once they get in line, as soon as this player's gone, then this player jumps up, this player jumps up, the quarterbacks are ready to go. We've got a bunch of footballs right here. And we actually drill this with all of our complimentary plays as well. It's a good conditioner as well. You know, in the summertime, um, it's something, you know, where you're working football, but you're conditioning the kids at the same time. And then with that, next, it will build into our rocket skelly drill, where now we're going to have a defense out here. We're going to have a front side slot blocking. We're going to set cones, so we want to release, release flat and fast around the cone, flat and fast around this cone. We want to run flat and fast around this cone here. And now we've got defenders, and we'll put, we'll put cover four, we'll put cover three, we'll put a three-three stack. We'll put all different kinds of looks all summer long, so the players are used to safeties rotating down and things like that. So... Um, it's a great drill for us against the defense. You can do this without pads on. So we're going to run our rocket sweep. Our tailback's going to lead out. Our slot's going to lead out around this cone to the outside shoulder, identifying, identifying safeties coming down or stock blocking and just 
also teaching our back how to cut through the traffic if he needs to cut up and then get back outside right there. So here's a view of our circle drill right here, not the skelly drill, but the circle drill. And you can see we've got some players here snapping the ball to our quarterbacks. We've got our tail back here. We've got our tight slots there. We've got coaches here watching things. We've got cones out here to go around. Um, if we've got a lot of players in the drill, you know, we'll have other quarterbacks working, you know, to our receivers and we'll work in the circle drill here. But basically it's right here. We're just working, working flat and fast, working quick, getting a lot of reps. And then as soon as those players are cleared, our quarterback gets back into position. The next player steps up in line and then we are just off to the races running another rep. And, you know, it's a great way to get a lot of reps very quickly. And again, if you're, if you're an under center jet team, you can do that. If you're a, if you're a shotgun jet team or a rocket sweep team under center and gun, it's a great way to drill this. So that's our rocket circle drill and our rocket skelly drill against a defense.